Okay, to move on to the next step, which is first two layers, you need to know notation. Notation is a series of letters used to represent terms. Now, a regular capital letter means you turn that side once clockwise. Okay? Now, a capital letter followed by an apostrophe or a prime symbol, which is an apostrophe, means that you turn that side once counterclockwise. Now, a capital letter with a two after it means that you turn that side twice. Now, if you turn it twice, it doesn't matter which way you turn it, you're still turning it twice. This side that's facing you, the colors don't matter, but this side that's facing you is called F. This side is U, this side is L, this side is R, this side is B, and this side is D. Go through each one. F. Now when when you're turning it based on notation, it's as though you're looking at the face. So I'm looking at F, and I know whether you know to turn it clockwise or counterclockwise. So just a regular F, you turn it this way, like a clock. Now, once that way. Now an FI is the other way, and then F2 is twice. The two should be simple. It's the eyes that mess people up. Now the F, U, and R are very simple, but the B, L, and D are quite confusing because they seem opposite, but you have to remember that it's as though you're looking at the face. So an R, a regular R is away from you, an R, I is towards you, and an R2 is just twice. Now the U, regular U is to the right, U, I is to the left, and then U2 is just twice. Now, the confusing ones. LI. Remember, R was away from you. So you would think that, oh, okay, L would be away from me. But it's not. You have to remember, it's as though you're looking at it. Now, this is the left side. The blue is the left side, which is L. So we want to do an L, just a regular L, not an LI or an L2. So we have to look at it. Now an L is clockwise. So we turn it the way the clock goes, and then that's L towards you. L I is away from you, and L2 is just twice. Remember, twice does not matter which way you turn it. Now B. So you should say F is this way, B is this way. It's not. It's as though you're looking at it. This is B to the left. B, B I. B, B, I. Now, D. D is a little hard to see because it's on the bottom, so you have to think of it as though you're looking at it. Well, you think U is this way, so D is this way, but it's not. Remember, as though you're looking at it. Clock goes this way, turn it that way. This is F still, right is F still. Now, so it went to the right for D. D, DI, DI, D, and of course D2. D. Now that should be very simple, and so these series of moves, you should be able to figure out which way to move them. So let's do a simple one. This is an F2L algorithm. Uh, let me set this up. Now, this one moves here for F2L. UI, UI, counterclockwise, FI, counterclockwise, UI, U, counterclockwise, F, clockwise, U, which is clockwise, R, which is clockwise because it doesn't have an I, U, 
clockwise, no I, or I. Counterclockwise because it has an I. That's notation.